Ever wondered how to break into one of the most in-demand, highest paying industries today? Cybersecurity isn't just for tech wizards, it's for anyone who's willing to learn. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step roadmap on becoming a cybersecurity analyst in 2024, even if you have zero experience right now. Hey, my name's AJ. I've been in cybersecurity for the last nine years. And on this channel, we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners. So let's get into it. So first up then, you want to master your IT networking fundamentals. Two great places to start are either the CompTIA A+, which I'm sure you're all already aware of, which can help you build those IT fundamentals, or you've got your CompTIA Network+, Plus, which can help you master those networking fundamentals, so fundamentally how computers actually talk to each other. So this is going to be the basics of IT, this is going to be the basics and slightly more in depth of how networking and how computers actually talk to each other. So everybody knows about these. These are well known in the industry. These are excellent certifications to get. But there is actually another way as well, which we found out recently, and that's with course careers. So course careers actually have a information technology certificate, so an IT certificate. And I can show you that here. So as you can see here, course careers, if you come into their courses, information technology, um, no experience or degree required. They've actually been successfully helping people get IT jobs without any experience or IT without any degrees you can see here james got his first interview within a week of graduating course careers um earned nisa three offers and now i'm in my third week at my new job uh, dan everything that i used uh from my labs and my interviews really helped me impress people in interviews so we've got 50 dollars off so you can access their free course with our link in the description but you also get 50 dollars off their cert certification as well so just to give you an idea what this looks like um, so it's going to teach this free course is going to so how to start your career in what you need to learn and how to actually start your career in IT. So this is a great place to start. Um, again, CompTIA fantastic as well, but I prefer the fact that you're where you're more likely going to get a job. You can master your IT and networking fundamentals while working uh, before you then look to move on to your cybersecurity certification. So like we said, we get fifty dollars off if you join with our link in our description. So once you start getting into an IT help desk role with a thanks to course careers or if you go down the CompTIA path as well once you get in your IT experience then you want to start building your cybersecurity fundamentals and of course the best certification for that is the CompTIA Security Plus so the exam voucher is going to cost you about $404 this is the, one of the best certifications nearly every job especially in the US as a baseline they're always asking for CompTIA Security Plus there's also the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Um, it's like on Coursera. It's $49 per month. You can probably do that within one month. That's also a great certification to get, but it doesn't really hold much weight in the industry. But the content in there is still really good. So I'd focus on getting your CompTIA Security Plus. Then, of course, doing your Google Cybersecurity Certificate if you want to build those fundamentals further. So then once you've got your IT fundamentals and your networking fundamentals and you start to build up your cybersecurity fundamentals, what you're going to want to do then is actually pick a job in the industry. So one of the best jobs to start in is that of a cybersecurity analyst. And whether you're going through higher education in university as an IT professional or you're looking to transition into a new career, then the best job to go into without any experience is that of a cybersecurity SOC analyst. And the reason for that is, is because you get exposure to so many different things that it allows you to then specialize further into these roles. Maybe you want to be a penetration tester, instant response security consultant maybe you want to go into forensics this is the pathway that we recommend going down it's personally what i did nine years ago and now i work in instant response and many of the other students that we've helped the best place to start is SOC analyst because it allows you once you pick that job you know exactly what you need to learn to be able to actually get the job and then to actually progress further so SOC analyst what do you need to actually learn then as a SOC analyst so these are the things exactly what you need to learn I'm a senior cybersecurity analyst now. These are the kind of things that I'm doing on a daily basis. So what you want to be doing, Googling each one of these and understanding what they mean. I'm briefly going to cover them now, but you want to build your learning curriculum around each one of these areas. This is everything that I'm doing on a daily basis. So to begin with then, SEAM, that stands for Security Information Event Management Tool. This is a tool that cybersecurity analysts are using on a daily basis. Nearly every analyst is going to be using this tool. So what is a SIEM? So imagine, um, imagine a network. On that network, there are multiple devices, servers, laptops. All of those devices generate logs. 
those logs get sent to the seam. The seam has a set of rules. Those rules look for malicious activity in the logs. If it detects malicious activity, it will then send that to the analyst to review, who you then, as the analyst, will determine if it's malicious or not. So one of the best tools uh, that most analysts are using is actually Microsoft Sentinel. So try and get some hands-on experience with this. So next up, you want to start learning instant response. One of the be best frameworks for this is the SANS instant response plan, as you can see here. You want to start to understand each one of these steps because this is going to tell you what you need to do in preparation for an incident and when you're actively trying to manage a cybersecurity incident. Now, when you're starting out, you may not be required to manage incidents or cybersecurity incidents, but if you can and you can get into the mindset and you can get into the understanding of how to manage these incidents, then you're going to stand out as a cybersecurity analyst. Get familiar with this framework because it's going to tell you what to do at each stage and within each stage, it's going to tell you the steps that you need to take. So then you want to understand cloud attack and defense. So how can you do that? Well, a great framework for that is actually the MITRE attack framework for cloud. As you can see here, the MITRE attack framework has got this enterprise matrix. This is telling you each step that an attacker is taking when trying to compromise cloud infrastructure. Then within that step, there's a specific technique. So what you're going to do, come and learn some of these techniques, understand the real world examples, and then how to actually mitigate and actually detect it. So you're not expected to learn every one of these techniques, but you want to start getting in the mind frame of an attacker or a hacker. And to be able to do that, you're going to want to understand some of these techniques and most importantly, how to defend and mitigate those techniques. Next up, you want to understand customer service. So you probably will have built up a lot of this uh, from the IT role or from any other role that you're currently working in. But fundamentally, you want to be able to detail complex cybersecurity issues in a simple manner when working in cybersecurity. And starting out, some of the best companies to try and work for are managed cybersecurity companies. And often you're going to be dealing with customers on a daily basis. So you want to get good at this. Next up then, attack types and defense techniques. So you want to understand some of the latest attacks out there and how to defend against it. Again, we can go back to MITRE. They've got this enterprise matrix, and this is detailing how attackers are attacking more traditional networks. Again, understand the steps that an attacker is taking and then understand some of the actual techniques as well. So for example, in an interview, I've asked an interviewee, name me a persistent mechanism on Windows that a hacker will use. There you can see here, Windows, can go into persistence so auto start execution for example start to understand what this technique is all about real world examples of where it's been used and how to mitigate and detect it because these are the answers that you're going to want to be given in an interview as a, as a, if you're going for a cybersecurity analyst role so again understand the steps this is going to help you get in the mind frame of an attacker then start to understand some of these techniques. So next up then is threat intelligence. So you want to understand what threat intelligence is. So threat intelligence is about collecting, sharing, and analyzing information about potential cyber attacks. The idea of threat intelligence is to understand the tactics and techniques of hackers to be able to defend against the latest attacks. And a great way to see how people are actually doing threat intelligence, head over to X, go onto Twitter, and just type in threat intelligence in the search bar and start following some threat intelligence analysts on there. So threat hunting is actually the proactive process of hunting and searching for possible threats within an organization's network. Instead of just waiting for traditional alerts to come into the system, threat hunting involves actively seeking for potential threats. So look, you're not expected to be an expert in each one of these areas, but you want to get a basic understanding of threat intelligence and threat hunting because it's going to help you in the interviews. So then analyst tools. So one of the major ones, of course, being Seam, but imagine any tool, security appliance that is on a network that can help a cybersecurity analyst detect an attack. So you've got your firewalls, network intrusion detection systems, endpoint intrusion detection systems, all the tools that analysts are using to protect a company's network are the ones that you want to understand. But please put a big focus on Seam because this is what majority of companies are using. So once you've built up the theory then, which we've just discussed, you really need to build hands-on experience through labs and projects. And one of the great places to do that is on YouTube. So I personally post um, every single week I've been posting project work so you can check out our um, our YouTube channel and as you can see here three cybersecurity projects for beginners three cybersecurity analyst projects uh, cybersecurity cloud lab these are the kind of things ultimately you want your projects to relate to each one of these areas so I've got a project that teaches you how to set up your own seam at home project that teaches you cloud attack and defense 
each one of your projects needs to relate to one of these areas because then you can say that you actually you've learned it but then you've got hands on experience as well which is what these employers are looking for but there's many projects on youtube but like i said we've got some on our channel as well which we recommend that you do but please make sure they relate to the job that you're going for then you're going to get to step five where it's going to be preparing for the job interviews and before you can get the interviews you need to set up your resume or your cv please use a skills-based resume it's literally the best resume that's worked for me it's working for our students what you're going to be looking to do is format it in this exact way you have your own summary at the top um, i tend to put my education at the bottom but it's up to you then you have your skills this is the most important thing then you break down your skill how you've actually demonstrated that skill and provide evidence as well the reason for a skills-based cv is because it allows your skills to stand out even when your experience lacks then you've just got to be consistent here and continue to apply for every single cybersecurity analyst job that you see. Don't go applying for one and two and being like, oh, I'm not getting anywhere. Be consistent every single day as long as it takes. Just keep applying and eventually you will start to get interviews. And when you get those interviews, you'll just need to continue to learn how to get through those interviews. But ultimately, you want to be looking at the job description and trying to pull questions from that job description to figure out what they might ask you. But ultimately, this is the pathway that you're going to be taking. You need to get your IT networking fundamentals. Personally, I think everyone should go through the course careers it fundamental certificate get an it help desk job and then once you're in that job start to build your cybersecurity fundamentals with the most important one compte security plus but you can also use the google cybersecurity certificate as well then you're picking a job of course the one we want to go for is cybersecurity analyst then learn everything that it takes to become a cybersecurity analyst like we've already discussed and then pick the home projects that need to relate to each one of these areas then start setting up your resume and your CV like I've shown you and just be consistent with applying for jobs. You're eventually going to be successful and once you are, that's when you're going to be able to specialize further and go into those more advanced roles like instant response or penetration testing. Now look, if you are still a little bit confused, there is a lot of information to take in. If you want more of a tailored pathway, we've got a free school community and you can get a free consultation call. So go in the link in the description and you can join that community. Um, in here, once you join, you're going to see this post here where you're going to be able to book in a free cybersecurity pathway call with our career consultant, James Thomason. And he's going to go through a clear roadmap for you to kind of make sure that this is more tailored towards your needs. And if you're still unsure, this is the best place to get in contact with me and the four other empirical trainers who've got combined 30 plus years worth of experience. So we look forward to seeing you in this community. So to conclude then, you want to build your IT and networking fundamentals. Ideally, if you get a help desk role, then this is going to allow you to earn while you learn. You want to build your cybersecurity fundamentals with a certification like CompTIA Security Plus. You want to learn the exact skills required to become a cybersecurity analyst. And once you've done that, you want to get hands-on experience in each one of those skill areas by doing hands-on projects with your home labs. Then you want to use a skills-based resume or CV and be consistent with applying for cybersecurity analyst jobs. Now, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to get started, go and watch this video next where I teach you one free cybersecurity analyst project that everybody needs to do. See you over there.